Hey YouTube, WLJK here. Figured I got a couple things I was working on. Um, get this loaded up. Uh, figures. Turn light on so we can see. Okay, first off probably wondering what this is. This is hiding the mechanics. No, not a couple guys, you know, jumping over the wall fixing your engine. But this holds the mechanics of um, what I'm about to show you. I mentioned when I did the minecart doors with the pistons over there. That'd be neat if I could turn on and get them so that they would not only slide out, but push forward. Well, I did it. I don't have it on a push button, but I'll, where my ladder go that I had over here. Oh, I took it down. No, I might put it over here. Okay. i give you the basic gist of this. Okay. This isn't exactly the best view of it but all right you got two rows you basically got a two by two so four square pistons now on the end of this set is a set of sticky pistons aiming that direction on this set is two pieces of stone now <clears throat> Once again, I had to do the figure the timing thing out like I did with the minecart track. So basically, as you can see, repeaters which are actually acting as delays. Now, these are delayed because of not the pushing out of the item; it's more the pulling in. And I'll show you why here in a second, or explain why at least. So I got to switch. I actually got two switches. Got one switch over there. It's just wired into this one. Hi Z. I'm doing science Z, and you can't do anything about it. Okay. Sorry, had to do that. Um, so I got this one controlling the bottom left piston. We're gonna call this the left side here. This one's the upper left. Then you got the bottom right and upper right. Now when the power goes on, these just push out as normal and you can't really see it from this side but under here oh man I blocked it in there is redstone coming to the side of the wall that activates these two pistons they're right underneath me and when they activate they push the block that's here out to here now that's pretty straightforward now the problem is with bringing it in that's why the delays are here when the power is cut, these automatically pull in. So power cuts, these come in first. Then after the split second delay, which is just long enough for those to come in, these four pistons come in. So it, it's pr it was pretty much timing. Um, oh yeah. And the one side will not turn on unless you shut off the other. And you can faintly hear it, the chunk chunk. There's the one wire, one redstone. What gets me is I got, you know, each one of those pistons I have a separate uh, repeater come up to, but yet I can have one wire because it's on this block, power this piston and this piston without a repeater. So, maybe that's, there you go. Now that, that's the little thing I was just working on, I figured I'd show you. Um, as you can see, it's just outside. It's actually Wheeljack's test area, so you never know what's going to happen there. But I was thinking of putting that over here, but as you can see, it's three wide and it's not going to work out. But um, I'll show you what I was working on last night. Um, I'm using the Mastercraft, I think it's Mastercraft, texture pack, this makes it a little, a little easier to see. 
I turned around and put glass block as a roof and I gotta fix my there we go that should be it yeah um, because of all the rain and stuff that way it comes down and won't interfere when we're talking I left a little bit of air open yes that's a giant lift hill you see I got bored last night so here is the queue line <clears throat> excuse me to come over and to ride my coaster. Now I haven't decided what to name it. Um, I was trying to think of something. Thinking the idea that it's a classic wooden style coaster, circuit coaster. It's in a transformer based world. Stuff like oh, there went my remote from my Blu-ray stuff like that it's it's hard to think of an idea I was thinking shockwave but am I in it nope heck oh man don't you dare don't you do it there got it there that's the end of the right now I'm just kidding so I turn on made this I made like a modern coaster you got a transfer track and there's four other cars staged there they you can push them out and ride them but it's not really necessary so push the button and I'll give you an aerial tour of this after I'm done as you can see it looks pretty realistic with the amount of support um, I had a little trouble in here when I was putting when I first did this you could fly through this course just from the lift hill. Well once I start putting the supports in start slowing me down. I figure it's because of the resistance of, the st uh, of walls in the turn. Because you can see I slowed down there before I hit. I ended up adding three boosters. Um, <clears throat> this one was just to ensure that I got back up to the lift hill. And I made a like I said I made a uh, the Q. Even though I don't need it's a private roller coaster, but that's besides the point. Um, so I'll go out here and get this piece of popcorn out of my tooth. There we go. Give you an idea what this looks like aerial wise. Like I said, it's just it's just a standard circuit coaster. It's nothing really drastic. I actually, when I first did this, I, I wasted time. I had these supports angle all the way to that point that you can see right there. And then I was going to angle it out that way and connect it and whatnot. I'm like, you know, that's getting crazy. So I just did it. Where's it? Five? Yeah, five spaces from the track. And then it's the same method I use for landscaping, so. Now, will I turn around and make another one? Probably sometime, not in near future, in distant future. Um, but I could have done a lot more inside, added another lift hill, and just kept going around and around and around. When I came down, then come through here. Um, now, this inspired me to dig out the old roller coaster tycoon games. I I tried playing it. I tried recording it. It just didn't seem right. So I, I scrapped that idea. I was going to put it in my retro section. Um, it just did not seem correct. I couldn't get it lined up, or not lined up, but it, it took our, probably about an hour 20 minutes. Maybe. No, it took about a little over an hour, so about. 65 minutes or so to uh, get this done and uh, because you can't vary the audio like you can here in Minecraft it's either audio's on or audio's off there's no 
real adjustment of the volume unless I mess with windows and then if I turn on mess with windows I'm gonna forget to put it back and yada yada so um, I decided to go with this um, so I might just play the old uh, tycoons just for the heck of it um, there's one more thing I'm going to show you actually I'm going to look at it and then explain a couple things um, I'm going to go back to my uh, um, Fortress Maximus build I didn't add anything to him yet I where's the button there's the button 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 who's got the button um, but I figured, you know, wander around there instead of seeing, you guys seen most of this, mostly every video I've done. So, here, we'll get up here. And, we'll go to, say, quit, single player, bring up Fortress. 